How you feeling? You ready? No. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Looking good, baby. Looking good. Thanks, sir. You, the oh. beautiful bride. Beautiful oh. dress. Looking fantastic. Are you ready?
Kind of like you love each other, you know? And if you Thank you, you may be seated. Well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, family and friends. Before we get started on this very special day, Veterans Day, Deborah and Stephen would like to thank the brave men and women in uniform serving today and those who have served in the past. We honor each of them today and every day. Thank you, and God bless. We're gathered here today to celebrate the wedding of Deborah and Stephen. This service is their way of acknowledging their love for each other and committing to live together as a family. For centuries, men and women have come in this way to proclaim their love for one another and to make this commitment before friends and family. And again today, Stephen and Deborah do so as a public statement of their love and intent. Our lives find completeness only as we love and are loved in return. Together, we can become what we could never be separately, the union of husband and wife in heart, body, and mind is intended for their mutual joy, for the help and comfort given to one another in prosperity and adversity. Therefore, marriage is not to be entered into lightly. At this time, Deborah's friend, Rachel Desois, will be reading an excerpt from Bridge Across Forever by Richard Bach. A soulmate is someone who has locks that fit our keys and keys to fit our locks. When we feel safe enough to open the locks, our true, true selves step out and we can be completely and honestly who we are. We can be loved for who we are and who we are not, for who we are pretending not to be. Each unveils the best part of the other. No matter what else goes around, around us with that person or we're safe in our own paradise. Our soulmate is someone who shares our deepest longings, our sense of direction. When we're two balloons and together our direction is up, chances we've found the right person. Our soulmate is the one who makes life come to life. Well, now comes the fun part. Stephen, do you take this woman to be your wife, to live together in the covenant of marriage? Do you promise to love her, cover her, honor, and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to her, so long as you both shall live? And Deborah, do you take this man to be your husband, to live together in the covenant of marriage? Do you promise to love him, comfort him, honor, and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to him, so long as you both shall live. Deborah and Stephen will now share their very special written vows. You look beautiful. That's as loud as it goes, babe. I'm, I'm good with it. Can you hear me? When I first sat down to write my vows, I was not sure where to begin. I wanted to say all the right things at this very moment and make sure to tell you all the ways that I love you. I took a deep breath and began to type. Before long, I had filled up pages upon pages of my thoughts and realized this was not very hard at all. That is because the words I say to you today are truly how I feel every day. Expressing my love to you is easy. Doing it in front of all of your friends and family, however, is terrifying. <laughs> Seven years ago, uh, I packed up all my belongings said goodbye to my family and friends 
and moved away from everything I ever knew. Little did I know, that was the first leg of a journey that eventually landed me here tonight. Five years ago, I moved to Louisiana. Not knowing anybody and yet another place, another new place, now even further away from what I called home and living in, in now my third state in just a few short years. I often wondered if this would be my last stop or where my true home would eventually be. I started to ask myself even more questions. Would I ever find love? Was I destined to be by myself forever? Was this journey mine alone? I would often take trips to the beach by myself to try and understand who and what I was supposed to be. Staring down at all of the broken seashells, washing ashore, I realized that they all had a story of their own and there was no such thing as the perfect one. They all too had come from many different places in search of their final destination. Then, at the very place I proposed to you, we looked down and found the perfect one together. <laughs> Amongst all the broken shells was the most perfect sand dollar. Some people can search a lifetime and never find... Some people can search a lifetime <laughs> and never find one that perfect and beautiful. At that moment I knew I had all of the answers to all of the questions I had asked myself for years. I found something perfect and beautiful. <laughs> and it was not that sand dollar, it was you. <laughs> From that moment on the word love made sense to me. Everyone has a different definition of what that word means. To me it means helping each other when you need it most, saying you're sorry when you truly are, cheering each other's victories, communicating without saying a word, holding on tight when things get tough, making fun when you can't find any, overlooking each other's imperfections, sharing space secrets and having someone in your life to make each day special. You have taught me all of those things, and I will happily give you all of those in return. And so here I am, the place I want to be, sharing hopes and dreams forever, by your side, home. Almost done. Thank you for finding me. I marry you today with no hesitation or doubt. My commitment to you is absolute. I love you. Long ago, I prayed and dreamed of you. Your love, your generosity, your compassion, and honesty. Thinking back to the first night we met, we danced. We talked and laughed for hours as if we had known each other for years. It was easy. That night, your soul reached out and hugged my heart and my soul reached out and hugged your heart. Our souls were crazy in love. I found you when I was least expecting to and you're so much more than I'd ever expected to find. As imperfect my life was then, meeting you was the perfect storm. We laughed, we cried, 
We grew a lot together in a short amount of time. I will never be perfect. You're not perfect. But we are perfect for each other. We get each other. We create balance in this crazy world we live in. We dream together, we set goals together, we laugh, we cry, and we forgive daily. Sealing our love with a goodnight kiss every day. Stephen Mark neighbors, you're my best friend, my soul mate, my one true love. I love you because you love all my imperfections and you always say how perfect and beautiful I am to you every day. I love you because of your love and com commitment to protect and provide for us and our three girls. Your blood flows hot in your veins and your love is deep rooted. I promise to be the best parts of me that fit perfectly with the best part of you to cre create our team. We have and accomplished more as a team than I could alone. I believe in you. I believe in us. I promise to, cre to always create my own menu when we dine out. And I promise we will always be at war with the thermostat. I promise to be your equal every day, to work hard with always being mindful of our goals, our dreams, and to help balance our life with play. I will never turn down an invitation to us singing karaoke in our kitchen late at night, either. I am so lucky I have found the man of my dreams and whom is deeply loved by your family and so many friends, my family, my friends. Being with you makes my life more complete than I ever dreamed it could be. I know I have loved you all my life and today is a special day. I get to call my one true love, my husband. <laughs> Wherever I am with you and our three girls, I will forever be home. <laughs> A wise man once had this to say about love, describing it thusly. He said, love is patient, love is kind, is not jealous, love does not brag and is not arrogant, does not act unbecomingly, it does not seek its own, is not provoked, does not take into account a wrong suffered, does not rejoice in unrighteousness, but rejoices with the truth. He went on to tell us that love never fails. Having this kind of love in your hearts, you've chosen to exchange rings as the sign and seal of the vows that you're making today. May I have the rings, please? Though small in size, these rings are very large in significance. Made of precious metal, they remind us that love is neither cheap nor common. In fact, love may cost us dearly. Made in a circle, their design reminds us that we must keep love continuously. It must never come to an end. So as you wear these rings, whether together or apart, even for a moment, may they be a constant reminder of the vows that you're making today. Stephen, you'll take Deborah's rings, place them on the third finger of her left hand. This is your left hand? and you'll repeat after me. With this ring, I seal my promise. With this ring, I seal my promise. To be your faithful and loving husband. To be your faithful and loving husband. Oh, I put it on all the way, right? Okay. Go all the way with it. Okay. <laughs>
<laughs> With this ring, I seal my promise. With this ring, I seal my promise. To be your faithful and loving wife. To be your faithful and loving wife. Stephen, Deborah, you come before us and you've expressed your desire to be husband and wife. You've shown your love and affection by the joining of hands. You've made promises of faith and devotion to each other. And you sealed these promises by the giving and the receiving of rings. I therefore pronounce that you are husband and wife. May you have joy and peace in all the days of your lives. Stephen, you may now kiss your bride. Amen. Amen.